This is the one place where all comic book fans and nature fanatics can join hands. We all want superpowers, and since we can't develop them, there are still creatures that can walk on water. And who says we can't live our dreams through them? Some of them are either immortal or just so physically indestructible that nothing can kill them. Keep watching to find out what we're talking about. Here are 20 animals with superpowers. But before we wow you, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go! 20. Basilic Lizard what do lizards and Jesus have in common? No, it's not one of those offensive religious jokes. The only similarity between the two is that both of them can walk on water. In fact, the basilic lizard is even called the Jesus lizard at times. Their long toes have sort of fringes of skin between them. It sounds like a gross deformity, but this feature allows them to rapidly slap their feet against the water without breaking the surface. These rapid slaps create air pockets and keep them afloat. You might find these little reptiles near water since they like to stay around round water in case a predator happens to walk. Despite all this, we don't think these lizards can turn water into wine. 19. Golden-Tailed Gecko This perfectly round red marble of an eye shouldn't hypnotize you. Marvelous golden tail. This one's got sort of markings right up his back. Many geckos have mesmerizing patterns on their body and other features that just draw geeks like us towards them. However, even we want you to stay away from these. Their superpower isn't flying or anything. It's their ability to squirt the world's worst smelling liquid. Since these geckos are usually a target for hungry birds, they decided to make themselves smell so bad that nothing would want to come near them. The sticky liquid is released right from their tails, and many researchers describe the odor as nasty smelling. Some even say it smells like crushed legume seeds. Well, thanks for making legumes unappetizing for us. Researchers don't know much about the smell, but the fact there's aroma mixed in does not make it any better. 18. Jellyfish Immortality What's better than the superpower of immortality? Whether you've dipped your toe in the fountain of youth or cryogenically freeze your body, there's a very small chance you can live for a thousand years. But the jellyfish has managed to find a loophole to live forever. The problem with old age is that our cells become too weak to reproduce, and then we die. However, the Turritopsis dorni has a life cycle that lets it revert back to its baby stage when severely physically damaged or starving. It goes back to being a polyp and starts its life cycle from there. This cellular mechanism is super rare, and scientists think that it would have a huge potential in medicine. It also means a grandfather jellyfish can turn into a baby jellyfish in no time. 17. Wood Frog Blood freezing. If frozen was an animal, he would be a wood frog. Well, sort of. The wood frog has a very easy way of spending its cold winters. It simply hibernates in a hole it digs and then freezes its blood for months. As a result, these frogs can tolerate blood sugar levels 100 times higher than humans without any of the diabetic side effects. What's more interesting is that it can stop its blood circulation and restart it later without any blood clots, strokes, or even a heart attack. Somehow it makes enough of the syrupy sugar solution to prevent its cells from freezing. Still, it also manages to bind water molecules to the inside of the cells so they don't dry out. There's nothing cooler than this, literally. Number 16. Dragon Millipede If you think you smell almonds, then you're in big trouble. The dragon millipede has a very similar scent, and it's not because of their fancy perfumes. These bright pink insects make their hydrogen cyanide from their defensive glands. Making your own poison isn't easy, but the dragon millipede can make enough to hurt you real bad. However, if any predator other than us tries to even touch the insect, it will have to face death because that's how strong it is. It's just mother nature taking revenge for those who associate the color pink with being weak. Number 15. Pistol Shrimp A bubble gun is the least dangerous thing you can give to a toddler. Deadly machine. Their pincer or claws are modified with a plunger that fits into their socket. It's sort of a spring mechanism that helps them shoot a jet of water through a little gap in their claw. When the bubbles pop, it's a deafening noise. Not just that, the hat they create is so Number 14. Flatworm 
During the French Revolution, beheading was an amazing way of killing off the bad apples. But that would not work with the flatworm. When you chop up these googly eye flatworms like a scallion, they'll start to wiggle away from the individual pieces. The head and other parts just find their own ways, doing their own thing. And after three weeks, each piece will have a head and a completely identical body to the flatworm that was initially cut into pieces. Researchers are trying very hard to understand this process of regeneration and apply it to humans. But flatworms have powerful stem cells, called planarians, that replace the whole tissue issue that was lost. These sticky creatures are way too good to kill. Number 13. Lyrebird Sure, parrots are cool for talking like humans, but they're rookies as compared to lyrebirds. These birds make up their own songs with different elements to attract a mate. Sometimes it includes a car alarm, a camera clicking, and sometimes a chainsaw. Many other species can replicate other birds' songs. Still, the ability to mimic artificial noises, like the last note, is so impressive that it can even fool you. Human impressionists have a really good opportunity to learn from them. Sometimes they mimic the song of at least 20 different other species. So if you find another species falling in love with a lyrebird, don't blame them. Number 12. Mimic Octopus Ever since Mystic showed up in the X-Men universe, everyone knew who the coolest girl on the block was. Well, the Mimic Octopus is sort of that girl underwater. Being one of the smartest cephalopods means you can outsmart your predators with ease. These eight-legged friends have color-changing organs called chromophores that act together to reflect the cells in a way to produce a body pattern that matches the surrounding. It's not just about the colors. It's also about matching their skin lecture and body position to appear something they're completely not. They can mimic animals, plants, algae, and even rocks right to the last ridge. And you think you shouldn't be afraid to do it once. Don't complain to us when octopi take over the world. Number 11. Grasshopper Mouse One thing for sure, don't ever fall for looks in the animal kingdom. Take this tiny little grasshopper mouse for a second. It might be a fluff ball, but it's had to evolve to live in the harshest setting in the world. At night, you would think creatures like scorpions could gobble the mice, but the work of millions of years has given them an evolutionary advantage. They are completely immune to the venom that scorpions make. In fact, they also have the ability to convert the neurotoxins into a painkiller. Here we go. Oh! 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 Their hunting rituals are pretty weird too. They stand on their hind legs, throw their head back, and howl like a mini wolf. But if you can drink the venom like a cocktail, no one's gonna mess with you. Number 10. Toxoplasma gondii the Toxoplasma gondii is one of the world's most successful parasite. It's actually more evolved in our culture than you realize. Usually, it prefers to stay in a cat's body, but in the rare cases that it does reach a human, it can make some significant changes. For instance, it can affect the levels of dopamine in mammals by actually increasing it. Even though humans are accidental hosts of the T. gondii, it can cause chaos depending on which part of the brain it lands on. The unsuspecting parasite could be the missing link between schizophrenia and toxoplasmosis infection. Basically, it can control how your brain works. Number 9. Sockeye Salmon Photographic memory is definitely a superpower, but scent-based memory is even a bigger gift that only salmon are known to have. These fish venture out to the ocean to explore, but always come back home. Since the ocean is huge, how do they know where home is? Unlike Dory, these fishes don't need a map or a guide to remember home sweet home. They simply navigate their way back using the Earth's magnetic field. They sort of have a built-in compass that helps them find their birthplace. During their migrating years, they also built a smell memory bank that they use when they come back to their own river. From there, it's just a matter of time to find their stream. Who knew such a regular fish had so much knowledge? Number 8. Hairy Frog Wolverine has to be the coolest guy among all the superheroes, and apparently his biggest fan is the hairy frog. It even has similar claws of its own. The amphibian from Central Africa unleashes its sharp claws from its hind feet and through the skin of the toes when they're in danger. Now these claws don't just break the skin, 
these bones also crack in half. Technically, they're no claws since they aren't made of keratin, but it's still a very hardcore way to intimidate something. In fact, it's one of the rarest forms of weaponry in the animal kingdom. Scientists think that when they're in a calm state, the claws slide back in and the skin regenerates itself. Unfortunately, there's nothing more we know about this mysterious hopper. Number 7. Hagfish How does a fish with no eyes and a mouth manage to dodge every predator they come across? One of the weirdest wonders of the sea is the hagfish. All extinct fish and all living fish would ultimately have come from something rather like this. These spineless creatures have spiky mouths but no bones or teeth. And sure, they're not photogenic either, so what can they do? Well, there's one thing you should know about them. You will never find them in a sticky situation. These escape artists release a lethal amount of mucus, which reacts with the seawater and turns into a huge pile of goo that suffocates the predator. That's not all. Their super flexible bodies help them twist and turn in ways that let them get away from anyone's jaws. Lastly, their skin is detached from their organs. So even if a shark was to bite them, it wouldn't even hurt them in the slightest. Number 6. Bombardier Beetle Spider-Man can make webs from his hands, but can he make boiling acid bombs? Didn't think so. The Bombardier Beetle have a state-of-the-art defense mechanism that involves acid gas bombs. In extreme cases, where their life is in danger, they can make chemical bombs with a dose so lethal it can be deadly. The two compounds of the bombs are stored separately in the abdomen. They can mix the compounds on command, which results in a boiling mixture that explodes out of the tip of their abdomen. Since the reaction is exothermic, the heat release is enough to boil the gas up. Is there even a superhero or a supervillain? that can match this beetle's power? Comment down below if you know any. Number 5. Alpine Ibex Defying gravity has been a focus of many superheroes, and even though nature has gotten around it, there's nothing cooler than seeing a goat standing upright on the slope of a mountain. Their bodies and hooves are built to climb. Their hooves have a hard outer case that lets them dig into a ledge no matter how small it is. and then the soft pads of their hooves fold to the contours of the mountain's surface like molding clay. On top of that, their bodies might look chubby and fluffed up, but when you look at them head on, they're very slender. And these tiny adaptations help in one thing, maintain balance, in balances that seem inhabitable. Number four, archer fish. What could compel scientists to name a fish archer fish? It's quite simple actually. Their ability to shoot down their prey is what gives them their name. These lurking creatures wait for an insect on land to appear, and when it does, they squirt out a stream of water so strong that it hits the insect head on. <laughs> their aim is so accurate that by the time the insect falls into the water, they're waiting to gobble it up. You have to look at the fish in action in slow motion to actually see what's going on. In just a tenth of a second, they hit the prey and move to the spot where the insect is likely to fall. What's even cooler is that light bends all weird in water, about 25 whole degrees off. Yet the archerfish can make their aim, including all these calculations, to make sure their food is hit just right. Number 3. Pit Vipers if you know anything about TV and TV remotes, then you know how pit vipers hunt. These serpents have special powers called pit organs right in their faces that can detect infrared radiation. That means they can sense body heat from anywhere. It has an array of these infrared sensory organs called pit organs right around the mouth. So if a prey tries to hide from this snake, they won't have any luck since the viper can easily detect where the prey is hiding thanks to their infrared vision. Number two, platypus. No matter what animal we're talking about, platypus are still the weirdest ones. First of all, they don't even wear hats like Perry, the platypus, so that's one lie. Other than that, they're mammals, but not really since they lay eggs. So what part of them are not hiding? We don't know that, but they can definitely tell when something else is hiding. When they're underwater, they can easily perceive when prey is moving around using electroreception. This ability allows them to detect electrical impulses with their bill since they live in a light-limited area. Number 1. Tardigrades 
Finally, we've reached the strongest, most impressive creature of all time, who have managed to surprise all five mass extinctions. Not just that, tardigrades, also known as water bears, can survive extreme temperatures, whether it's hot or cold, extreme pressure, and UV radiation too. To top it all off, these creatures have been to space and thrived there. Their tactic is to shrivel up in a dormant state when conditions are less than ideal, while reducing essential proteins for their cells. Recently, a study showed one of the species using fluorescence as a mechanism to resist UV radiation. In short, there is nothing they can't fight. Alright, comment below if you've ever had the pleasure of witnessing an animal show its superpower. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to Forever Green, and we'll see you in the next one.